Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I want to jog your memory for a second because we recently reacted to a video of a very obviously masculine man getting pushback for trying to go use a women's restroom. I'm not sure if I did that on the show or if it was an individual. I think it was like a TikTok reaction and a YouTube short, but I want to have it live on the show permanently because it ties into what we're going to talk about today. But before we watch it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, here we go. Brace yourselves. Well, this is just lovely. I had a neighbor confront me for using the woman's restroom. I lived here for four and a half years. Everyone should know that I'm a trans woman. Mm. I've always been known as Kaylee. I've always used she, her pronouns. I've been having some stomach issues because of trulicity and I'd use the bathroom real quick and they're single use bathrooms and it's the only place that I feel safe using the woman's bathroom. Well, I got done and got out and this neighbor was talking to another neighbor and started pointing out the sign. I knew exactly what she was talking about because there's a big old woman sign. And I'm like, is there a problem? She's like, yeah, you're using the woman's restroom. You're a man. And I said, I'm a trans woman. And she's like, no, you're a man. You're a man. And she kept saying that over and over. And then I, yeah. and she kept saying, you're not a she, you're a he. You shouldn't be using it. You, should, you were born a man. And just over and over. And honestly, I just lost it. It just lost it and just start screaming and swear. I, I just couldn't handle it. Imagine being a woman and already feeling uncomfortable because a man is walking out of a female space. A man that obviously looks like a man. This is not just, oh, oh, maybe that's a, you know, I don't know. No, you, you are uh, very obviously a grown adult man. And then this man starts berating you and screaming at you and swearing at you. What the hell? Like, how is this acceptable? And in our current society, he is the victim here, even though a woman is getting screamed at in the face by a grown ass man. Literally living the upside down. All right, let's finish this. My, this is my home. This is my safe place. I should be able to use the restroom. The, the apartment manager knows I'm trans. Everyone knows my name is Kaylee. And then my group of friends, I thought my friends were all starting to yell at me saying I escalated and because she had two kids. I, I didn't even see the kids. They were there and I just lost it. Fight, flight. I'm glad your friends have common sense because you did escalate the situation. That is your fault. You don't know what it's like to be a trans person. And then, and then my one friend started yelling at me and neither, none of them stood up for them. They blamed me that I was the one that was at fault. When, when none, none of them stood up to me when, when, when this person kept calling me he, she, he, man, like triggering and awful. Like I deal with enough on here. Like my apartment should be a safe place. There's nothing safe. Here's the thing. It was not in your apartment. That was still a public space. You were in like the lobby bathroom. If you're in your apartment, in the privacy of your own home, do whatever the heck you want. I don't care. If you are in a public space and a woman is saying, you are making me uncomfortable. I have children. I am uncomfortable. You don't yell at her face. That is not your safe space. You don't get to just pick a public area and deem it yours. It's not how the world works. For a trans person, there is nothing safe for a trans person. This is the life. And it sucks and even when you have your friends don't have your back and then my one friend and Nash just starts screaming at me and I'm like fart start screaming back at her I'm done these are fair weather friends these are not the friends Damn that Annette. I need want and deserve and if I can't find it here I will find it elsewhere so I, I don't know I'm so triggered and feeling so uh, awful like, I just I just don't understand why people these days feel the need to air out all of their personal grievances online for everybody to see just slamming all of your friends if they do one thing wrong sobbing on the internet it's like does anybody have any privacy anymore like seriously how has someone wanting basic privacy and security become so controversial we could actually probably blame big tech which is why ExpressVPN is so important because every time you connect to an unencrypted network in a coffee shop a hotel an airport in a public space how Hackers on the same network can gain access to your personal data. Like it does not take a genius to hack somebody. All you need is cheap hardware. That's one of the reasons why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that hackers cannot steal your data. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer and over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. Another reason why I love ExpressVPN is because I know that when it's activated, my internet service provider cannot steal my internet data and my activity and sell it to big tech companies and advertising agencies which they are allowed to do legally without your consent. Plus, it is so easy to use. You can turn it on with a tap or a click of a button. It works on all of your devices. So if you want to secure your online data today, visit expressvpn.com slash cooper. That is expressvpn.com slash cooper and you will get an extra three months free. 
I cannot promise to protect you in public spaces with these ridiculous, insane people, but I can promise that ExpressVPN will protect you at least. That is the video. And in the days following that video coming out and kind of getting traction on Twitter and on TikTok, I was excited because so many people were stitching and duetting this video, commenting on how absurd this is and how in the wrong he was. And overwhelmingly online, people just kind of came to the consensus and agreed that he was not a woman, he was in the wrong, and they just had some common sense about this whole bathroom issue. And then I logged onto Twitter this week and I was bombarded by chaos and bathroom content specifically. I cannot believe that part of my job is talking about people's bathroom habits, but here we are. Oh, damn, that is pretty shitty. Libs of TikTok posted this 18 hours ago. They said, received this from a follower, tampons in the men's bathroom in Vanderbilt University. This is from a company called Flow, and I looked it up and apparently it is some organization, they work with campuses to promote period equality and equity, but that is mainly focused on men who menstruate, not on actual women. What's going on with you? What are you talking about? A girl responded and said, as a woman, I have never seen this in any women's bathroom ever sat. And this was like literally my first thought. For the dudes out there that don't know what, you know, we're talking about here, <laughs> when you go into women's restrooms normally, and I hope you don't because you're men and i am street smart and book smart you'll see like these tampon and pad little distributing things and you put quarters in them but they are like archaic things they never work sometimes they're not full it's very weird and nobody has changed them out and they are never ever complimentary so in looking at this where oh they're just putting free tampons and things in men's bathroom it just stings. I'm not asking for free period products, but the hypocrisy of it is just a bit glaring as a woman. Somebody else said, well, that's because men are most likely to be out and about without feminine hygiene products. So clearly the greatest need is in the men's room. Oh, of course. Somebody else said, I guess we got to go in the men's room to get a free pad and tampon. Well, apparently that's okay because gender and biology is meaningless. But as I kept scrolling in the comments, I saw that Vanderbilt University is not the only one doing this. Clemson College Republicans posted this in the thread and said, there is a tampon dispenser in one of the men's restrooms at Clemson University as well. They say, what is this? And they talk about free organic tampons and pads. Period equity. And here's another one. Somebody also posted this in the comments. This is, the this is at the Portland Convention Center. Look at all those urinals. Very nice. And there's a dispenser. Those are more like what you see in bathrooms, but often they're not free. They'll have like a little slot for quarters and things, but this is kind of the more traditional look for like a public restroom. But that's not all. Again, here's another one. We also have those at the University of Michigan, and these are like little baskets. Somebody else replied and said, I clearly remember always having to pay a quarter for this stuff, but as soon as the patriarchy needs pads and tampons, of course they're free, yes. Another glass ceiling shattered by men, a step forward for fake women, but a step backwards for actual biological women. A guy named Joe said, how long before they hang urinals in the women's room? What a joke. Well, apparently they already have. This video was circulating on Twitter earlier this week as well. This is at ASU. I see this. That's nice. Just to double check and make sure that I think. Hmm. Yep. Now, obviously, it is just freaking weird, but people are really split on this New one. New video tonight of embattled Republican Congress. Some are assuming that this was a former men's restroom or a co-ed bathroom that is now being labeled as a women's bathroom. And with the video, we can't actually see if this is like a multi-stall bathroom. It looks like you kind of push through a private door and then there's a urinal and a toilet in there. It's just kind of confusing. We can't tell. Somebody said definitely not a new or recent installation. Somebody said you have obviously never been inside of a college dorm bathroom before. That was originally a male restroom with a new sign. I mean, valid points. Other commenters though have said that they have seen things like it in other locations. This girl Charlotte said, dude, gyms in DC have started doing the same thing. So uncomfortable. Now, both of these could absolutely be true. I mean, it is 2023, but the fact that we are even having this debate about a video like this is wild. That like women go into public restrooms, see a urinal and have to be nervous that a guy might walk in and just start whipping things out and going to the bathroom in front of them. Like that is the problem that women are set on edge by seeing this. The other problem is that we are ignoring objective reality that men cannot menstruate. We are ignoring science for socio-political gain, which 
I mean, is not a surprise after what we have seen for the last three years. And this is a prime example of why, even though I love Ben Shapiro, I really respect him, facts don't care about your feelings is becoming harder and harder to stand by. And even though the statement, facts don't care about your feelings, is correct and right, more and more we're seeing that people's feelings don't care about our facts whatsoever. We have to reach people through like storytelling and humor and empathy and like actual emotional communication because just providing them facts and logic and science is not working because they literally don't care and they do not believe that that is objective whatsoever. Like the premises have changed. We have to try something different because the things that we see online, it is just laughable and they do not care. It does not phase them. And that's a problem. Okay, that was fun. And those people are crazy. If you want to see more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like that video. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Brett Cooper.